welcome back to another episode of Untamed Fishing Adventures. Today we're going to do a little review and a little fishing on the side. What we're going to be reviewing is the Pelican 10 foot Bass Raider. So this is a 10 foot Pelican Bass Raider. I think this is also available in an 8 foot, but that'd be a little cramped. This one is perfect for two guys. We can put all of our musky gear in there, bass gear, or whatever we're doing. And you can put a pretty good sized cooler in the middle of us. But it's a pretty good sized boat. It's rated for two people, 515 pounds, or a three and a half horsepower motor. We've got the Minn Kota 55 pound thrust trolling motor here with a big green interstate battery. And we can troll musky baits pretty good. We're probably hitting three or four miles an hour, I'd say wide open. When you go to the store and buy one of these pelicans, they don't come with a trailer or anything like that on a way to haul them around. So one, one thing that we done when we got this pelican is we built this custom jet ski trailer. If you look online, you can search the web, Craigslist Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, just whatever. And uh, you can usually run across a pretty good deal on a jet ski trailer. I think Tanner found this for like 150, 200 bucks at the most. So this is definitely a must if you guys are wanting to transport and fish the pelican at different hoes or pond hopping. On this jet ski trailer, what we did is obviously a jet ski trailer doesn't look like this when you buy it. It's just got two little two before planks on it. We've took a two by six board treated, went to went to our local carpet store, got some marine carpet, and and we put these on here ourselves. They just bolted right up to the they bolted right up to the frame and it makes a real good platform for this pelican to sit on. Now there's a few things on the pelican that we just don't like. And one of it is these plastic molded handles here. This one here is the only one that's not broken. The other three are broke. We've hit trees with them, rocks. If you hard impact there and they just snap. But they're easy to replace. Then you can buy, probably buy them online or eBay or get some metal ones would be ideal. Another thing that we have really had issues with on our little 10 foot pelican boat is on the front of these boats, they put their drain plugs right here, right in front of where, whenever we get going, you know, the water's pushing up in there. And it seems like there's always water finds its way into these pontoons. So that's definitely one issue we've had. And another is that they really don't stay in there that good. And we've lost a few over a few trips. So we've had to, we've had to do a little redneck engineering here to keep water out, but it's doing the job. Once we get done with our fishing trip and this thing is full of water, there's only one way to get it out, and that's to pull these plugs out, and you've actually got to lift the boat up onto its onto its top, so so the boat's standing up 10 foot tall, and the water's got to drain out of these holes. It can take up to 10, 15 minutes if there's a lot of water that's actually got in there, but that's definitely a huge downfall to the pelican. So on our pelican, when they come, this is actually smooth. We actually added this eye bolt, and the reason we've done this for you, a lot of times we fish over absolute bluffs on these river banks and we like to hook our winch to it and pull it up. So that's something we added and it's a pretty good idea if you do have a trailer. Also, if you do want to have your trailer motor in the front and not add this eye, this eye bar here, it actually has a plug you can hook your trailer motor up, I'd assume just a 12 volt system, and mount it to the front. But and we run there in the back. And also in the back of the boat, it has plugs so you can hook your, your trailer motor battery and keep it back there out of your way if you're fishing in the front. All right, guys, we're out here doing a little fishing now. And if you notice, we're both standing up in this boat. And this is probably the most stable 10-foot boat you will ever get in. You know, I can get up here and stand on these sides. You know, I gotta be a little careful. But, I mean, we ain't, if this is a John boat, me and Tyler both would be in the water right now. Yeah, those three-foot bottom John boats. You, you go swimming. You're swimming. Yeah, look at that. Especially if we get on that dude over there on that bank. Mm -hmm. Boy, you can't even stand up in that thing. Yeah, we were musky fishing. It was actually our first episode on the channel. You can click the link and check that out. But if you notice, I ran up here to net this fish. I ran up the side and netted him. And we was trying to land a muskie, and you know how intense that is. But probably the biggest plus for this boat is the space inside of it. You can stand up and fish. Yep. Doubled up with you. That's what I caught. <laughs> nice little spotted bass. Or a Kentucky bass, we call them here in Kentucky. Same thing. There he is. Come on, what do you say? 
There he is. Three fish off a tree. Oh, they don't even know they're hung, man. He's the same size. Look at this. All right, guys, that's our review of the 10-foot Pelican boat. We absolutely love this boat, and you're gonna see a lot of this boat on our channel, because we fish out of it a ton. As always, make sure to click down below and hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Untamed Fishing Adventures.